Alright, so this is the second time this happened, where the first time I support left off had an excuse where, um, okay, let me do this full story because I don't think the second bit saved at all. But yeah, my support, basically how I record these is because Posh has a random issue, which, well, not random issue, it's constant now, but basically, one or two years ago, oh, well, yeah, a year ago, one or two years ago, yeah, my Posh decided, you know what, I don't like extension cords anymore. I don't like... I don't want USB extenders, so I don't want to connect to your main computer anymore via the USB extender. So what I've been doing is by using my grandma's computer, my grandma's laptop, to connect to it. However, my grandma's laptop has never been really good, despite the hardware being good. Like, this, like, nice, this, like the sport laptop has the same hardware as the Xbox One does, at the same price. Um, but, yeah, it, 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 it's just failing us right now, so... Yeah, I'm actually thinking about getting a new recorder, a, a, a new device that can not only be plugged, hopefully can be plugged into the mass computer instead of having to use a port laptop, which is terrible in all sorts of reasons, not only is it unstable. Two, I can have the recorder screen up next, uh, on my main screen, on my on my monitor, where I can watch, uh, watch it live instead of having to bend over on my chair in order to see the laptop. And two, I don't need to bend over at all or get the support laptop or, anyth or, doing th or doing anything fancy. I can just hit record on the computer like I do for the PC games, which makes which makes it a lot easier for me to record because I have not I can I can be not I can be nauseous or dizziness and a bunch of other things that, or weakness and it'd be difficult for me to do it. Not only, is it just, not only does it add like an hour, not only does it add hours to process because I have to download the files off the off support laptop to the router and back onto the mass computer. Being paranoid. Okay, it's still working. All right. So anyway, so what you missed, um, what you missed was me getting all my armor components and me unlocking a lot of areas. So let's go quickly through those areas once I get more health, because I just got through the other area. I hope I can salvage the footage. I should be able to. It just got. Cur it, it, it just didn't save right. Worksite. By the way, so yeah, well, let's thank you for this. And now I upgrade my suit power. I look at the gear assembly and unlock this, which is the only thing we can unlock other than that, but we don't need this at all. Um. Alright, let's grab this. Because it will hopefully decrease the stone consumption. Whereas my other parts increase it as well as having more armor and strength. Okay, anything else we can put in this? No, 980, okay. Alright, I need more power consumption because I need more power cores to have more power consumption, right? Okay. Well, that shouldn't be too hard to get now. Be careful out By the way, there. what you missed was me opening up the second area, which I'll show you real quick. Oh, look at the, how the bar charges with this armor. Yeah, shit, I don't care. Oh, but yeah, no, we haven't had armor equipped. My bad. Okay, we'll go up here. I guess you want to see the footage, and then you open this, it, it's like 11 uh, power charge. And also, there's uh, some stuff up here which you can grab. Hello, by going by jumping with uh, holding the left stick and pressing the right, or holding X and pressing the left stick. Jump, jump. Okay, now what you want to do is run through here and then overpower this. I forgot that one. That what that one? What that one was? They can open the shortcut here, which you fight for. Which you fight the robots. Then you go, then actually there's a spot here which I met, uh, which I showed off, which has some dudes in it, which I've explored very much. Ah, uh, oh, that's an alternate route, really, okay, or that's a quick way back if you want to. Um, there's also, if we go over here, something, oh yeah, go in the talk, go in the guest talk that you got a friend. He does not like you. Run, 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 run. Then he also, he has also other friends. Now. And you go up there, that's a bunch of other things over there, which, I, which is what I'm currently on. But I'm going to put wall in my head because I'm having all sorts of issues. All sorts of issues. The first one was, the first one was my, 
a laptop running out of power because it needs to be plugged in at all times because it's a high power laptop. Threat level elevated. There's no right no yet. admittance at this time. Bam. Bam. Oh, well, at least get some scrap. Back off. Threat level elevated. No admittance at this time. Bam. All right, gotcha. A friend. All right, this is open. Good to see you. Good day. Got my power scrap. Oh, right. Well, I might as well end it here because I can't. Because I don't know if the computer will. Please remember, safety. Can see your recording if I go any, if, uh, to go any further. So yeah. And it should be yours. I will. It should have saved. Next again, you won't. You won't exit. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm gonna end it here because I don't, again, I don't know if it's gonna record. Uh, I will. I do want to get to the me uh, map. Uh, I want to get to the um, map I want to. Yeah, I want to get to the map. Uh, map but I, I don't think I can right now. Besides, I've been recording this for a good two hours now. I think it's about time. I think it's a good time to end it. I didn't think the story would be that long, um, or at least the first one would be that long, but it is, which is nice. Um, it gives you plenty of opportunity to learn. You can just. What I like about this game is different than Soulsborne games. Uh, Soulsborne games never give you an opportunity to learn the game. Or at least, not the way this does. Soulsborne games, your first time through, you're supposed to learn by dying a lot. This game, however, if you're insanely good, um, because I was able to go pretty far on my first time playing a Soulsborne game, pretty much. Seriously, at least. Yeah, a good, a good Soulsborne player can get through this, probably can get through pretty far in this game without dying. Uh, it's not because the game is easy, mind you. It's because the game lets you learn and lets you walk at your, let you walk at your own pace. You can, you basically go forward, you go back. You learn on the sky, then you come back. However, it's a bit different than Soulsborne games. In fact, that Soulsborne games enemies are copy and paste. Every single enemy like that is exactly the same. Every single, every single enemy that looks the same are the same. They have the same moveset, they have the same abilities, they have the same hit power, pretty much. Um, it's only throwing new enemies where things are different. In the surge, however, while you get a lot of copy-paste enemies, and you're actually, you get endure speed new enemies pretty good, and they play like two areas in the first level, you are introducing, you are introduced to a new enemy. Which is amazing. Um, and, th which is nice, but they are the same enemy. But you fight a lot of enemies which used to be your mini boss, and then in the room after that, it's your standard enemy. Which you learn to fight. Um, which basically, I mean, all like Soulsborne games where enemies would have what, like up to three moves. In this game, they have a ton of moves. Uh, even the basic enemies at the start, they have a ton of moves, and you gotta learn them. You gotta learn how to fight them in a fluid manner. You don't just basically step in the back a million times or uh, just attack, draw their attack, fall back. Sorry, draw their attack, fall back, and then try again. Uh, and they keep attacking them back and forth. And, like, you don't have the same move. Basically, the move patterns are constant. You're const and each enemy has their own individual um, lo uh, lo loadout where they can have two more parts. They can have one armored part. They could have all armored parts. They get different They get different weapons. And it's up to you to decide how to take the new guys down. And also, in this game, you know, the challenge of taking down enemies, you can either take down enemies the easy way and not get extra scrap and parts by just going up their exposed parts, or go up to their armored parts and get off the, and get all the good stuff. That's also pretty cool. So um, yeah, the search is pretty awesome. Uh, I love it. I'll be playing more of it because I'm just having fun with it. Um, yeah, hopefully I can get a new. Hopefully I can get the. Uh, uh, what's it called? Let me go look it up real quick. Hopefully I can get the. Um, the Razor Rip Saw Capture Card, uh, Capture Card, I hope I can get up soon, hopefully next month, I have done next month, and next, then the month after that, and I can do recording console stuff seriously again, like I, like I started the channel with, it's just that I've been, you know, the reason why I've been doing mini console videos is because I've just been sick, um, the last forever, like either been, like either been, either been nauseous, which bending over to record is not a good idea, uh, I've either been nauseous or I've been um, nauseous, weak, dizzy, doesn't, 
go well. It's putting a lot of something around looking over it. Um, as well as, um, not just weak dizzy. Stiff, not wanting to play these, not wanting to play the console games because it's just to want to play them. Um, or to try to play them because I know it would probably mess up. Or it would be tough for me. Um, you know, just to move my arms on the controller to play. I much rather, when I, when I record for YouTube, I want to be at my best. Um, so I can give you the best quality experience possible. So yeah. But anyway, oh uh, man, the Surge is awesome. The Surge is for people that not only like, the Surge is, you know what? The Surge is for people that want to get into Soulsborne games. I mean, I, I I mean, all the flaws that all the flaws that Lords of the Fallen had, which I believe Lords, of, I think yeah, I think the, I I remember the flaw that I remember the key flaw that Lords of the Fallen had, which was crashing. All the problems I've been having are on my end, not the game. The game has been running perfectly clear. Everything's fine. Uh, the game looks nice. It runs nice. It flows nice. It feels nice. It sounds nice. It has a good story. The story is your cl is stories presenting your classical. Um, it, it's stories presenting your class, classical, um, classical of a game, of a game, a game subgenre that's only been around for like a decade or less. Uh, yeah, less because uh, Demon Souls was on PS3. But anyway, so of your classical Soulsborne games, where the story isn't presented to you in a forefront manner. Well, this I mean, those of the Fallen Surge seem to be have their story presented in much more forefront way than. One cutscene at the beginning of the game, one cutscene at the end of the game. Maybe people talk to you. Uh, maybe people give you big stuff in conversations in the middle of the game with, with, with like mini cutscenes. That's about it. Um, and you get most of your story through other discussions and just looking at the world. Whereas the search normally gives you a more. Uh, oh, how do I put it? A more modern day game experience. I mean, and the search storytelling is. from like. They're from like the early, uh, the, uh, the um, like the early 2000s, the early 90s of the 2000s, where they give you very sparse stuff. Well, I'm talking about for like for like a uh, for like a first person shooter, um, and a and a 3D action game, a third person action, which is which is this? I think I don't know if you do or not. Um, but yeah, I mean. I mean, of all the games that come out recently with heavily emphasis on melee in sci-fi games, uh, or just uh, uh, or just games that generally give you that have a melee system that's supposed to be fluid and you're supposed to go for different, you know, you're supposed to either go for different parts or block certain ways, you know, like Fort Runner or or um, or Technomancer. This game on the hand, I see perfects it. Like Technomancer's controls were kind of clunky. Uh, foreigners controls um, had a certain thing to them, but they they were fluid, but they were overly fluid. They weren't for a person that wasn't in person for a person that couldn't get into foreigner. I couldn't get into foreigner. Uh, for a person that just couldn't get in the system, uh, it, it doesn't work. Like someone that just isn't that type of fluid person. It, 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 I mean, I, I, well, I mean, what I was doing, I was doing more fluid. I was basically, I was bashing the moves one for one instantly. We're in four and you have to wait a second. Um, or something like that. I never really figured that out. But the Surge, you get the system instantly. Uh, all you gotta do is just have previous knowledge of how 3D action games work and you just, you just, um, uh, lock on and you just point towards the part and go. And then you want to target another part to stun them or. You wanna, because the game, the game has combos in it. I'm not sure if you noticed, but the game's, game has combos in it where you do we do horizontal and vertical attacks in a certain order to do a certain combo. Um, yeah, and I don't know where anyone can read the combos or I'm I don't okay. Let me be honest. I'm not quite sure they exist, but they feel like they do because I was doing because I was doing two horizontals and one vertical and was doing the big overhand strike, right? Um, so yeah, that that's one combo I figured out. Uh, because I, I must be honest, I mesh buttons, but when I mesh buttons, I expect, I, I get, I try to get them to work. Uh, I, I, there is, I, I don't do combos very well, which is why I don't play classic fighting games like, uh, like Mortal Kombat or anything like that, is because I can't get the combos to work. 
matter how many times I press the buttons, and there are too many, and the button combinations are just too much for me. Uh, even if I do learn the one or two of them, I can't get them to work. So yeah, but the search works perfectly. Um, yeah, I mean the search is a great game. If you basically, if you want to get to Dark Souls, Demon Souls, and Bloodborne, but you don't think you can. Um, or if you tried it and you weren't good at it, I would say the surge is for you. Or the surge is for a person that just wants a 3D action game that's sci-fi, the surge is for you too. Or a 3D action game with a melee combat, the surge is for you. Or a 3D action game with exoskeletons, where you can build your own exoskeleton, the game is for you. Uh, like I said, this game is an excellent game to learn the Soulsborne, the Soulsborne genre in, or the Soulsborne sub-genre in, like I have been doing it. Like I've been doing this entire session, I've been learning the souls of genre with this game. I've even developed my own technique, which is touch something, fall back, touch something, fall back, until I figure it out or die from it. Um, or until I figure it out, then if I almost die, I fall back, I go back and just keep going. Basically, I do the, I do the, I do the, I do the slow and steady approach. I do the tortoise approach. I take on, I take on the level as a puzzle, which I need to, which in a, I think, I take on the, I take on the. Levels like a, I think on the level like a puzzle, like a maze. I go, I go to one room, see what's going on, um, uh, take out as many as I can, and then fall back if I don't need to, or if I feel like a checkpoint's up there, I go straight through the room, go to the checkpoint, and then get out of there. Um, that's just how I, I mean, well, the recorder's still working, but that's just how I've, uh, learned these games. I don't know that we're working Dark Souls, by the way, or Demon Souls, or Bloodborne. Because the rooms are much more cut, much closer in, and yeah. But I'm gonna try to flip all, uh, eventually because it has guns. Um, and it's an interesting, uh, it's an interesting uh, you know, setting. But yeah. Poor girls, I like surging. I want to play more of it. Uh, I don't know when. I don't know how soon because I kind of need to um, figure out my computer problems. Or just get a new recorder. Sorry, Apologies. The apologies are great. But they kind of haven't had a new one in the, like a year or two. And um, Elgato has a new one. I thought we were getting Elgato, the new Elgato. But I decided not to. Because it doesn't record SD games. Standard definition games. Like, I don't know. Uh, some gener some generation of consoles, we um, Xbox original, uh, PS2, or even well any any generation of consoles be besides the Xbox 60, um, Xbox uh, PS3 era. Um, like every like console like basically if it doesn't record HDMI, Elgato doesn't do it. Um, whereas the whereas the uh, whereas the Razer does it, and I. Been, I, I have so many PS2 games I want to play, but I can't because the Apollo doesn't like SD games and my dad was died a long time ago and never been able to get a new one that worked. Um, hopefully the rip shot will be the answer. Um, but anyway, that, that, I won't be getting that to another month. And I had to do this because of the uh, Ford Vention. They gave me a key, I had to do it. Especially if I request a key. Um, if they request the key, I definitely had to do it. So yeah. Alright, by the way, so, uh, again, the search is amazing. It, 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 honestly, if I'm to be honest with you, it actually is one of the better, uh, one of the better 3D action games I have played so far. I don't play many 3D action RPGs. That's why uh, my sister does. Or, well, I mean, not action RPGs, she just plays RPGs in general or stuff to collect, but... Uh, I don't know if they see their appeal. Uh, I mean, I've been trying them recently to to basically, um, basically grow, and I just haven't. Not, they'll never really collect. Uh, they didn't fall out, but then again, that's not third person RPG. That's not third person action RPG. That's first person action RPG. So yeah. Um. But yeah. Uh. Yeah, I mean this game. This thing, this game was. It's definitely the first three action RPG to really catch me, and that's to be honest. That's what I waited for. 
Not the Surge. Uh, I was waiting for the Surge to be, um, be the, uh, uh, be the Souls War game that I could get into. Um, I was expecting it to be the 3D art action RPG to get me into 3D action RPGs. And that's awesome. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, the thing with the Surge is unlike Dark Souls, Demon Souls, which can prepare unfair times. I mean, remind you, I'm still in the first level. Um, can appear, can appear to be unfair at times, but the Surge is different. The Surge, if you want to take, the Surge you have to take a tactical mindset too. I mentioned like playing Battlefield. Um, you, have to take a, you have to take a tactical mindset too. You have to figure out each room like a puzzle. And you got to use your unique set of tools that you have at your disposal, both what you have in game and what you, who you are as a person to take on that level. Unlike, unlike the Souls War games where you can do that, but it's mostly just about dodging and attacking the right time. Like, it, every enemy has their thing, but the Surge is more sandboxy than that. And the thing about the Surge too is, it, 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 it just encourages running back to base and coming back. Souls War games don't really do that. They, they want you to run through an area, if you die, you die, you fall back, you run through the area again. The Surge, they want you to survive and if you don't survive you gotta go back and get it I'm like how this is where this is where the souls war games actually have the advantage is or, or actually have a positive in this case because the souls war games if you don't die you, you you keep basically you can if you die and you take basically you go i mean you, you die you spawn you walk out of the area you clear the area and you want to take and you go and you want to go eat lunch for example you want to take an hour break for lunch come back you can go get your stuff again without pausing of course the surge, on the other hand, it's only two minutes. But then again, the surge, it's more, you know, the surge has a lot more checkpoints. Um, the map really opens up when, no, the map really opens up when you, um, the map really opens up when you, uh, um, when you clear it. Unlike Soul Point Games, which the map doesn't really open up, it's very, it's very much quarters. Um, so, Basically, there are a lot more places to go back, go back, regroup, and come back. Unless you gotta go kill everything again. But every time you get stronger and stronger. Unlike, Soul, unlike Souls 4 games where you gotta go, you have to be successful, you have to successfully get out of there uh, and, and level up. And you can't really store your Souls Souls for games, can you? Or at least, not the older ones. Um, not like this game, you can easily store it. You can easily rank up. So, and you can, you can rank up by just bashing things in the head over and over again. Just this uh, wake up your weapon skill, uh, which something you can't do in the Souls for games. Every skill, every set in the Souls for games is ranked up via souls, which if you die you lose. And in this game, um, yeah, I, mean, I, I I just I love the surge. It, 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 again, it's one of the better action RPGs to to. Uh, it's one of the best RPR keys uh, that I have played. Or maybe I. You know what? I can't think of another one right now. What is what is another third-person action RPGs that I like a lot that I remember? Not like it, none that come to mind. So yeah, there's that. Uh, I I, I really like the Surge. I, Surge might be my favorite action RPG there, and it and uh, uh, it's my favorite Soulsborne light -like game, let's just put it out that way. I'm not quite sure if it's my favorite Soulsborne game, or Soulsborne game, is it? Mm, maybe I want to play that. Don't kill me. Uh, I mean, the Soulsborne games are awesome, but I think this is just another, I think this is just another step. So, yeah. Oh, I right, when I got on long enough, got 24 minutes, um... All right, so um, that'll be it for the session. It's been a long one. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate watching uh, these videos. It means a lot to me. Plus, do not forget to leave a comment if you want to this thing. Do you this for the series? Now, if you want me, tell me if you tell me how uh, much you want to see more of the surge, and I'll definitely do more of it. Yes, lots of been crushed on me, crushed on me yet. So, uh, I'll definitely make sure to do more of it. Um. So yeah, uh, I mean, I'll be doing it more of it anyway. But depending on how much you want it, uh, how popular this video, how popular these videos are, depends on how often I'll do it. I'll probably, you know, I'll I'll be doing this main sequence series on, uh, I'll definitely do this main sequence series for a little bit. 
my for the opening week, which opening week is almost done. Uh, but I'll definitely do it for the opening week of me playing it. Um, if I get time, but yeah, I'll, be, I'll definitely do this as a random open money series if no one wants it because I really like this game. And you know, since I don't edit a lot, um, since I, since I don't edit a lot, because the reason why I don't edit like big chunks out of videos anymore is because I just don't have time. Um, you know, I basically what you see on if, on any given day, unless of course I. Of course, I oh, of course I felt bad and had to take some of the previous day's videos off to upload on today, or the day of you watching this. Or things take too long because of my increased time of uh, increased time of completion process, uh, or increased time to increased increased time to upload process because of because uh, I'm using Sony Vegas now. I still haven't optimized the best, I guess, or I need to get a new codex or something to make it go faster. I mean, it, it's better than it was but still it's really long um especially for longer videos for these videos it should be fine i should i should cut these in like 30 million segments maybe less depending on where i feel like a good spot to cut it is because it's basically just kill something run back hey i killed it i kill i beat the room yeah i beat the room let's fall back uh yeah i beat the room let's explore a little bit then let's fall back and then cut then we come back out of the, then we come back out of the mid bay and then i do my grinding and then go back basically just do the process because nowadays I, I have what I I basically I, I play what I record I don't um like I don't I don't have time for playing a game for an hour and only keeping half of it for example and having to play another hour in order to keep half of that to have an hour long uh, have a have an hour long session and I'll upload to YouTube uh unfortunately I can't do that because I just been sick and tired and I need to go to college sometime but anyway. Um, but anyway, so, yeah, I just haven't had the time to, and I, I can do what I do, um, so yeah, that's why I don't get it. If I, if I had the time, uh, if this was truly my full-time job, because right now it's more like a apprenticeship than anything, an internship, well, not an internship, I do get paid, but, well, like an apprenticeship, um, um, then, yeah, if this was my harder full-time job, I was still in college, but yeah. Uh, I'll, definitely, I'll definitely have more time to vote to this if I was feeling better as well. So there's a lot of factors into do in, into why I don't record more than like an hour, but more like 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, however long I need to absolutely record, and and I can't cut out, and I can't do excessive edits, or else I lose that hour, two hours um, of content. But anyway, so yeah, I mean, and besides me grinding, I mean it's not terrible grinding because I mean this game doesn't, you know. You know, I like Soulsborne games where you guys go to the same area over the top every single time and every enemy is the same. In this game, there's enough variation in how the enemies fight and how they come at you. And what and what Lotus they have is this game feels different every single time you gotta go back to it. Which makes grinding really fun. It's like Wolf Tanks grinding. Because in Wolf Tanks, every single match is every, every single match is different. Um you know, it's a different scenario. Um, so basically, it's all, it's basically, yes, you're in the playing sync tank around 100 times in order to, uh, in order to unlock next tank. But, your uh, every match is different and you're upgrading slowly, like this game, you upgrade slowly. As well as another, one, like, 10 more minutes, like, new, so, can, so I can get a new park to, to, to continue in the next area. So, yeah. Now, this game is awesome, and, um, yeah, that'd be a friend's video. Uh, our videos, and I guess... And like I said, tell me if you want to see more of it, I'll definitely do it. Alright, so that there that be a fifth session and I guess see you Eskin